देवी भक्ति और शक्ति इज द पैथ फॉर भोग एंड मोक्ष बट टू मोस्ट ऑफ अस इट मे नॉट मेक मच सेंस बिकॉज भोग एंड मोक्ष सीम लाइक डायमेट्रिकली ऑपोजिट टू ईच अदर एट इज दैट इज हाउ इट हैज बीन पोर्ट्रेड दैट इज हाउ वी हैव बीन फीलिंग अबाउट इट इज वेल सो इट सीम स्ट्रेंज दैट देवी भक्ति लीड्स यू टू बोथ भोग एंड मोक्ष दिस इज सो बिकॉज आवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ भोग हैज बिकम जस्ट टू नैरो we think bhog to be indulgence is bhog the next bottle of wine or the feast or the promiscuous intent that we may want to fulfill is that what we are talking about well not that these aren't bhog but uh, why have we reduced bhog to just being indulgence the reason the way i see it is that there are so many desires that one is unable to fulfill so many ambitions of self expression that one is unable to fulfill that we try to fill that void that dissatisfaction by all these indulgences and most people live a very dissatisfied sad life and they die so they neither got to enjoy bhog because it was a compensation for something else nor do they reach moksha because they haven't aspired for it thinking themselves to be unfit for it and looking at it this way if bhog is indulgence then moksha will obviously require a completely diametrically opposite way of being of living so for many people it will be very difficult to understand as to how devi bhakti can lead you to both the next word mantra of the navarna mantra after the three bija mantras is actually a word combining three syllables chamunda chamunda also happens to be another name for devi shakti and the significance of the name comes from her slaying two demons chand and mund who were fierce warriors very powerful extremely dangerous serving in the army of two demonic brothers shumbh and nishum chand was a bodiless demon only head no body and mund was all body no head and because they were slain by devi shakti her name became chamunda it is relevant to human life because many of us are under the negative influence of chand and mund the two demons chand means all head no body refers to the aspirations the dreams the desires that you have you think about but do nothing about mund are those impulses addictions compulsions greed that you respond to automatically even though you know better that's mund you want to change something in your life about your life even the smallest thing you think of it plan for it at length but don't execute it you are being chand why are you being chand because your old habits they take over make you sluggish and you give up and you are being mund you want to end this vicious cycle which keeps you in a state of procrastination devi shakti will help you out and hence her name chamunda 
सो द नवाण मंत्र ओम आईम ह्रीम क्लीम चामुंडा यही विचे आई रेकमेंड दैट यू एड नाइन रेपिटेशंस और इलेवन ऑफ द नवाण मंत्र टू योर एवरीडे चैंटिंग रिचुअल ऑफ द बीज मंत्र chant for health chant to take charge of your life and chant for the rightful place for yourself in your life and i'll see you in the next session